the Puritan Bennett MA1. It's one of the oldest ventilators. And from time to time, you're going to see this ventilator probably not so much in clinical use, but you'll see it in medical shows. Because it's a very visual ventilator, you can see the rising and falling of a exhaled spirometer, and it makes a lot of noise. You can hear the breath going in, versus some of the newer ones that are extremely quiet that you can't really tell if they're ventilating. So let's take a closer look at the controls on this ventilator. Controls are hidden behind this metal panel, which we just flip open. And here you can see that there's the manometer gauge and a number of warning lights, which will light up whenever these conditions occur. We have assist, pressure, ratio, psi, and oxygen, um, alarm, and function. And along the top here, we have the sensitivity. We'll talk about setting the sensitivity in just a few seconds. Then we have your normal high pressure limit. And this is only labeled normal pressure limit. Then we have a psi pressure limit. We'll talk about the psi pressure in a second. Oxygen percentage. And if we're, uh, we don't have oxygen plugged in, so we have no gas pressure, and we'll get a warning light and alarm. Back here we have the peak flow, normal volume, which is our tidal volume, psi volume, excitatory resistance, the rate, cycles per minute, and psi breaths. Then also we have a normal breath button. We can give an extra breath in between the machine breaths. Or we can give a psi breath, which is a larger breath. Power switch on, nebulizer switch on, so we can give inline nebulized medications on inspiration only. And that just about does all of the controls, except we have one more, PEEP. We can adjust PEEP over on the side here. Here is the PEEP adjustment. This device is what creates our PEEP by rotating this control knob and watching the manometer gauge we can set peep on the ventilator. And here we can set the peep and adjust it. Right now it's giving us about 10 so we want to adjust it down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the sensitivity to set the sensitivity, you turn it all the way towards the increase, which makes it more sensitive. And when the assist light comes on, you know you're auto cycling the ventilator. So you back it off about a half a turn. And if you would check using your uh, test lung, you'll see that it's giving us about a negative two or so of trigger and so we could go with making a little there we go that's about two so you look at what the patient's doing to set the sensitivity turn it till you get the sensitivity light light up and then back it off about a half a turn and then watch the triggering on the ventilator peak flow you're going to set that much like you do on any ventilator between 40 and 60 uh, liters per minute. Now, here we have normal volume. Normal volume is our tidal volume. And so what we want to do then is set our tidal volume to the delivered amount and then check our pressure. And our pressure is reaching about 35. So then the pressure becomes our peak pressure limit and we go 10 above the peak pressure so we set the normal pressure limit which is our high pressure limit at 35 I mean 10 above the 35. You can get an estimated idea of our tidal volume by looking at the exhaled spirometer 
and you can see we're receiving or delivering about 900 and the exhalation into the spermometer is receiving about 900. on the normal tidal line. Now side breaths were used to help hyper expand the lungs to avoid atelectasis and typically it was anywhere from one and a half to two times our tidal volume. So if we were delivering a 900 tidal volume we may see this as high as 1800 mLs for the tidal volume. More typically probably one and a half times around 14. Uh, 100 tidal volume, but that would cause a different type of a problem because what would happen with a side breath is it's a bigger breath and it may very well cause <laughs> alarm to sound when it reaches too high. So we have a separate pressure limit and we watch the side breath. Side breath goes up to 40, so we want to set our side breath limit to 50. We have our oxygen uh, percentage and that will uh, show us whenever we're not delivering oxygen pressure doesn't actually measure the FiO2. On below we have our rate breaths per minute. You can see it goes all the way down to one breath per minute and all the way up to 60 breaths per minute and you simply dial it in according to what the rate is then count the rate and adjust if the knob is slightly off. Over on this side, you can see the uh, side breaths, and it's how many breaths per hour and how many multiples of size in each one of those deliveries. So we have it set right here at three breaths per every six times an hour. So six times an hour, about ten hour side breaths. But that was all individual according to each hospital. Now, IMV could be given with this type of a device. And this is called an IMV valve. And it simply replaces the PEEP valve which pulls out and inserts into the body of the machine. And then, then we connect the uh, a T into the uh, ventilator and down to the demand valve. And the patient then is able to breathe on demand gas flow from the IMV valve in between the ventilator breaths. And it also has a control for the PEEP setting on top which then adjusts helps us adjust our peeps since we took the valve out.